Hello guys, yeah, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much once again. May God bless you all. The Abyss Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Hogale Zendibo, has slammed President Muhammad Buhari for calling on Western countries to designate the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, as a terrorist organization. Sahara reporters had on Tuesday reported that President Muhammad Buhari, in an interview with Bloomberg, urged the international allies to take additional steps to proscribe the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, as a terrorist organization. It had also been reported that Buhari pleaded with Nigerians' international partners, especially the United States, the U.S., and the United Kingdom, the U.K., to block the group from international financial network. Port Organese, in a statement issued on Wednesday, signed by spokesman Dr. Ales Ogbonaya, said the IPOB was a product of injustice, which President Muhammad Buhari government's actions and inactions fled. Organese, in the statement titled, IPOB is a product of injustice, said it is most expedient to enlighten the general public that with IPOB, that what IPOB is asking for is the parting grace of a Nigerian think tank. The Matema Sule imperative to President Muhammad Buhari when he led the Northern Leaders Forum to congratulate him shortly after his victory in the 2015 general election. It reminded the president, Buhari, that Sule had, while congratulating him, admonished that justice is key to good governance and that he should extend justice to all and sundry, irrespective of religion or tribe. Sule reminded Mr. President that an infidel with good conscience and equity can govern successfully for better than a believer devoid of sense of justice. Sule added that the solution to Nigerian problems can never be achieved by force, none by fear, none by power, but by equity and justice to all. The prophetic Sule urged him to do justice to all parts of the country because according to him, peace and stability are a product of justice and equity. He added that in the absence of justice and equity, there can never be peace and development. Sule, among others, stated that in absence of development, there will be mass unemployment, poverty, and that the idle men are the devil's workshop. Oranese, however, noted that President Muhammad Buhari knew that he ignored the internal advice from the Nigerian foremost patriotic, whom it described as democratic and diplomat. It wondered how the president would be calling for the prescription of IPOP when his tribe kinsmen were murdering thousands of Nigerians, sacking indigenous communities and taking over their land Why is regime do nothing. The statement partly read, what I think the IPOP is asking for is very clear. Treat us as partners in the Nigerian project or allow us to go. On the other hand, how can we explain the obvious lopsidedness in the appointment of military and parliamentary personnel to head the following organizations with little or no Southeast considerations? The Nigerian Army, the Nigerian Air Force, the Nigerian Navy, the Nigerian Police Force, the Department of State Security, DSS, the National Intelligence Agency, NIA, the Nigerian Correctional Service, the Nigerian Immigration Service, and Nigerian Customs Service, and several others. On the other hand, as Martama Sule predicted, the alienation of the Southeast from the centers of power is the basic center of 
the agitation in the southeast. The organizing Igbo worldwide, led by Ambassador Professor George Obiozo, has repeatedly, repeatedly stated that a people denied justice may not have interest in peace. The request by Mr. President to the West is most unachievable because the West watches with knee interest and alter resignation, the pathetic governance in the country. For the abundance of doubt, democracy all over the world requires justice, equity, mutual toleration, and institutional forbearance, all of which are in short supply to in, in today Nigeria. Mr. President is reminded that the British profound sense of justice, fortitude, resistance, civil victories, and forbearance are the hallmarks that sustains their government with an unwritten constitution in a similar vein. What sustains the U.S. democracy is not just the constitution, but democratic norms and values. Harkened on justice and patriotism. It added, as I am writing, the sad news of another Benue massacre flew in. No fewer than 16 kings men of Governor Samuel Autumn of Benue State were among the reportedly murdered in a fresh attack by suspected armed kinsmen, herdsmen, who invaded the Benue community in Guma, local government area of the state. According to the report, which is viral, the latest attack is coming about 10 days after a similar attack claimed several lives in Igama village and others. The Nigerian government should focus on these areas. Oanoze contends that if Mr. President confronts the menace of the Fulani herdsmen, who have been terrorizing several state communities and individuals for over seven years now with similar obsession and commitment this the plate to IPOP, Nigeria will be a better place. He said. So guys, we've all heard it now. I'm dropping it. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much.